Good morning, hello there, and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is Justin Mott, and now it's time for your local and area news. The Women's Joy Seekers Conference is coming up at the Center First Baptist Church. Luciana Barr on the Joy Seekers Conference Committee would like to invite the public to attend. Yes, I would like for all of you to be able to come out to our annual Joy Seekers Conference for Women featuring Jill Donovan this year. She is also the author of the Kindness Effect, which she will speak about kindness at our conference. Uh, it's Saturday, February the 23rd, 2018, from 8.30 to 12.45 at First Baptist Church. Please come. Thank you. And in sports, the Shelbyville Dragons defeated Gary 85-46. The basketball team will move on to take on Huldaseta this Friday evening in Woodville. Game time change. It will be at 7 p.m. this Friday. And that game is going to be broadcast live on KQBB 100.5 FM with legendary Don Wall Broadcasting. Tenaha Tigers defeated New Summerfield 64-40. Their basketball team will advance to take on Evadale this Friday night in Zavala, Texas at 7 p.m. For school news, Joaquin ISD will have a drawing to determine the order of the candidates for the school board election to be placed on the ballot. The drawing is going to take place on February the 25th. The actual school board election will be held on May the 4th. And in... Sabine County. Sabine County beekeepers will have a meeting on March the 4th at 6.30 p.m. at the Sabine County Chamber of Commerce located on the square in downtown Hemp Hill. The Federal Swine Holding Facility has announced a price increase for live hogs trapped and delivered to the Shelby County facility on FM 414. For more information, call 598-2400. That's 598-2400. And moving along into some church news, Pastor Gary Soule and First Lady Pamela will have their first anniversary service coming up on Sunday, February the 24th at 3 p.m. at the Mount Gillian Baptist Church. And here are the results for the Center First United Methodist Church Chili Cook-Off. For the Soup Division, first place went to Team Soup Siblings, Victoria Lee and Harrison Lee. Second place, Virginia Watlington. For the Chili Division, first place, Marilyn Jones and Will Lucas. Second place, Roy Blackshear. The Triumph First Pentecostal Church is going to have a benefit for... Bishop Roosevelt Swindle, whose house burnt down, is going to hold the benefit on March the 9th at 6 p.m. Appreciation services for missionary Brenda Carrillo will take place on Sunday, February the 24th at 2.30 p.m. at the Bennett Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Fifth annual Black History Program at the Triumph First Pentecostal Church in Shelbyville, Texas on Sunday at 12 noon. Open Door Baptist Worship Center will have packed the pew at 3 p.m. on Sunday. And for more news, be sure to check out our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go. We're also your local and area video news source. And be sure to follow us and like us on Facebook at Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook. That's Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook. And for live video news coverage events, be sure to check out our Facebook page, our other Facebook page, KQBB Real Country on Facebook. That's KQBB Real Country on Facebook. With your local and area news this morning, this has been Justin Mott encouraging you to go out and be amazing. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.